This next reaction should be a little bit familiar. This is a benzylic bromination. And you may remember this from Organic 1 talking about allylic brominations. So if you have a double bond and a hydrogen at the allylic position, if you treat that with NBS and light, we can brominate that allylic position. Well, the benzylic position is very similar. So the benzylic position is right here. And in order for this reaction to occur, you do need benzylic hydrogen, at least one. This one has two. And under these conditions, we brominate at that position. So we end up with a benzylic bromide. Just to tie this in, what you should remember from Organic 1, um, I'll give you kind of a simplified mechanism. The NBS provides a source of Br2, which in the presence of light provides bromine radicals. So then what happens if we have these benzylic hydrogen We can take the bromine radical and that will abstract a hydrogen atom from the benzylic position. And that's because that's the weakest CH bond in the molecule. So we get this benzylic radical. From there, now this can react with Br2 that's in the solution. And this radical will come and take a bromine atom that gives you the benzylic bromide plus we get another bromine atom that can continue this propagation. So that's the basic mechanism that's happening there.